everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Popular among girls in Maruko's class to exchange letters with children who live in other prefectures. Mom, Mom! Do I have any mail today? Yes, you have a letter here. Yippee! Let me see, let me see! Dear Sakura Momoko san, it's my pleasure to write to you. My name is Tanabe Kazue. Oh, she is very good handwriting. Oh, let me see. No, this is my letter, Mom. Come on, give me some privacy. Maruko, look. She wrote, I like math. It seems I won't get along very well with her. Oh, there's a picture in here, too. Oh, hey, so this is what she looks like. Oh, my, she's very pretty. Yeah. Okay, let's see. What should I write to her in return? I guess I should start with, thank you very much for the letter. Tea, tangerines, and jurocho of Shimizu are the special products of my town, Shimizu. Jurocho is not a product. What is the specialty of Kanagawa Prefecture? <laughs> if I write this, she may send me something tasty as a present. Hey, come here, sis. Can you take a picture of me? Huh? A picture? Yeah, I'm going to send it to my pen pal. Please take one for me. Okay, where do you want me to take it? In front of Hanawa-kun's house. No way! You don't need to show off to her like that. Okay, pose naturally. Oh, there. Yeah. Uh, are you sure about that pose, Maruko? Does it look passionate and cool? I'm naturally passionate. It seems she means to pose like a flamenco dancer. You don't have to make it passionate, you know? Be natural. But I just want to show her my passion for exchanging letters with her. The next day. Maruko, you have another letter today, dear. Oh, right! Look, I have a letter from Okinawa today. Really? You sent a letter to a person in Okinawa, too? Yep, I sent one to Kanagawa and one to Okinawa. It's a difficult Chinese character. Mom, how do you read this person's last name? You mean you sent a letter without knowing how to read her last name? This is read as Yonamine. Eh. Oh, look. There's a cassette tape in here, too. I wonder what she recorded. Hello there. I am Yonamine oh, Otako. Sakura-san, as my pen pal, Will you listen to my problem? I mean, I don't have any friends. What shall I do to make friends? I will send a cassette tape to Yonamine-san in return. Okay, so what should I say to her? Hello to you, Yonamine-san. I am Sakura Momoko. <laughs> Stop thinking so much. You can make friends very quickly. See, just like us exchanging tapes, Yonamine-san and I are friends already. So just keep trying. Hey, Dad, would you say some words to my new pen pal? Uh, are you sure? It's a bit embarrassing. Uh, well, uh, Yonamine-san, thank you so much for your hospitality to Maruko. That's embarrassing. They haven't even met. Well, I'm going to sing a song with my dad to cheer you up. Three, two, one. Shimizu, Shimizu is, is so well known for, for the aroma of tea. Of tea. Who wants to listen to this? Several days later. 
Guess what, guys? I had a super nice gift from my pen pal on my birthday. Did you really? That's amazing and nice. Tell us, what did you get? Well, she lives in Hokkaido, right? So I got white chocolate and a lily pendant. Oh, man, I envy you. I wonder what white chocolate tastes like. Will you introduce her to me someday? Uh -huh. I'm home. You have a letter from the girl in Kanagawa. Hi, Momoko-san. How are you today? I've been taking a few days off from school because I've had an awful cold. But I was happy that Koike-kun, who I like a lot, paid a visit to me at home recently. Oh, boy. She is so precious. I have a crush on Koike-kun, but I can't tell him I like him. Momoko-san, what do you think I should do now? Momoko-san, do you have someone you have a crush on? Will you tell me? Sincerely, Tanabe Kazui. Ha! So Koike-kun, lucky duck. You should know you're a lucky man. And be grateful for her. Hey, Mom! How did you tell the man you had a crush on about your feelings? Well, honestly, I've never told a crush anything. The firefly which does not chirp burns the body. A person who doesn't express feelings easily is likely to be more passionate. Dear Tanabe-san, hello there. I've thought about your question about how to confess to the boy you like, and I believe it's better not to do it at all. It's the firefly which does not chirp that burns the body. That is passion not expressed. Hey, what are you writing about? Uh, you're peeking, Dad. I didn't see anything. Let me ask you just in case. Dad, how do you confess your feelings to someone you love? Well, I tell her I love her. Oh, so it may be a good idea to tell him that you love him, too. Uh, you should be clear whether she should tell him or not. Bonjour! Are you corresponding domestically? I'm exchanging letters with a French girl in Provence. Oh, how did you find her? Naturally, my mom does a lot of work in France. So my pen pal is a child of her acquaintance there. I'm home! Hey, Mom, do you maybe have any French acquaintances? Of course I don't, dear. Uh, I have a letter from Okinawa today. Dear Momoko-san, thank you for sending me the cassette last time. I was very happy to hear your encouraging message and your dad's voice. Oh, good. In Okinawa, the ocean and the beaches are very pretty, and it's a fun place. I hope Momoko-san can come visit me. Yonamine Utako. Hey, Mom, let's go to Okinawa. It's not just somewhere we can go on a whim, Maruko. But, Mom, it'll be bad manners not to visit her when she asks me to come see her. There's no such form of etiquette. Then can I call her instead of visiting her in Okinawa? No. Do you know how much it costs to call Okinawa? It's cheaper than the travel expenses. Come on, please, Mom. Well, can't argue with that. You can speak for three minutes. Three minutes. I need to prepare a script. Maruko doesn't mind making an effort for just about anything but studying. I hope Yonamine-san is home. Be careful to dial the correct number. Oi. Oi. Uh, yo, yo, is this Yonamine-san's home? Uh, hold on, I'll give you to my mom. What? No, not so abruptly. Uh. Ah, hello there. This is Sakura calling from Shizuoka. Yes. Exchanging letters, yes. Is Utako-san home? Ah, hello there. Is this Utako-san? Hello. Here, Maruko. It's Utako-san. Boy, you're so helpless sometimes. Uh, good afternoon. How do you do, Utako-san? This is Sakura Momoko. Hello. Good afternoon. This is Utako. Hello. You two keep saying hello, singing the theme song of the World Expo. Uh... So, you know, I'll be turning nine next Wednesday. Cool, that's great. Happy birthday. So, Taco-san, what color do you like? I like pink. <laughs> it seems she's finally realized how silly the question was. I wonder what's written in the script. It's almost three minutes. Ah, okay, gotta run. I will write you letters again. Bye-bye. And she's safe. The intention of making that phone call remains a complete mystery. Well, I'm glad I heard the voice of my pen pal. The phone is really amazing. I've got it. I will send a gift to Otako-san for her birthday. Then she will have to send me one for my birthday as well. <gasps> There's so many things here. Yes, there are. Ooh, how about this thing? What is that thing? It's that traveling hat and cloak for Jirocho. I guess it'll do. It looks okay. And it's bulky, so it looks real expensive. But it also looks pretty useless. Yep, I've decided. 
excited. Let's just get that. Surprisingly, she likes it. Wow, Grandpa, you're wearing it. You look really cool. Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but you can't try it on. Hope you're well. Here's a birthday gift for you. <laughs> now I can definitely expect to have a special product from Okinawa on my birthday. I'm home! Look, you got letters from both Kanagawa and Okinawa today. Really? From both of them? Let's start with Tanabe-san from Kanagawa. Are you a radio DJ? Let me see. Momoko-san, I think you and I have different interests. I think we should stop exchanging letters. I'm sorry. I wish you good health. Ah! I suppose the firefly which does not chirp burns the body was a bad idea. Come on. But she doesn't have to quit exchanging letters. Well, anyway, Yonamine-san in Okinawa is great. She knows how to value her friend. Let's see. She says she liked it a lot. Thank you for sending me something very rare. I'm pleased to have your gift. Hey, listen, Grandpa. Mm -hmm. My pen pal is excited to have the traveling hat and cloak I sent the other day. Is that right? Let me see. Thank you for sending me something very rare. I'm pleased to have your gift. Six months later, on Maruko's birthday, a gift from Okinawa comes. The gift I picked made this girl so very happy. I see Maruko and Grandpa have different thoughts over one letter. By the way, this correspondence ended three months later without either girl making any definite move. So on Maruko's birthday, there won't be any gift coming from a pen pal in Okinawa. Maruko wants to have a birdie. Uh, they're so adorable. I want to have a java finch. Listen, Dad, let's get a java finch. No, we cannot. Please, let's just get one. No way. Both Dad and Mom expend enough effort in looking after Maruko uh, already. What do you mean? If you really think that, then I'll cause you even more trouble from now on. I'll make a racket in the house every single Day, I'll cause trouble to others, I'll shoplift, and I'll start smoking and doing awful things, and I'll hang out with the wrong crowd! So which do you think is harder, to take care of me when I become a bad girl, or take care of me with a java finch? Your argument is ridiculous, Maruko. I knew it. You're just scared. You're a coward not to answer. <laughs> so, Sly Sly, your name could be Sly Hiroshi Sakura, isn't it fitting? Tch! Don't give me a weird, creepy nickname. Hey, Mom, listen, don't you think life with a java finch would be good? A person like you, who we can't even trust in daily life, can't keep another living thing. <clears throat> then I don't want a birdie. Give me 1,500 yen. What do you need that for? A bird? If her pleas have become this desperate, then she's beyond help. <sighs> no one understands how I feel about that bird. If I just had 10,000 yen, then I could use it as I wanted. I could buy a java finch. And I can buy candies and toys with the rest of the money, too. Let's be honest. Maruko wants to have 10,000 yen more than a birdie. Hey, sis, how much money do you have? Well, things like money should be kept secret from other people. Sister is so mature. Come on, don't call me other people. You know I'm your darling sister, so you can tell me. Oh, no, especially not you. <laughs> Change subject. So, do you want to get a java finch? Java finch? Well, it might be really cute. See, you do want to. Then let's buy it. Combining my 300 yen, Aww. which is all I have, and 1,500 yen from your savings should be enough. Yeah! It's perfect! Sis thought that was yeah. the last offer she all would take. Right. Uh, another day is passing, and I haven't made any progress in getting a java finch for myself. I must do something soon. Oh, I know! I shall write an essay about how wonderful a birdie is! Everyone will be so moved by it. Now, what is this? About a birdie. Birdies have wings and beaks. I envy them. People don't have them. I envy them. Hey, Maruko! Oh, Dad, do you need something? Good going. He must be really moved by my essay. I see from this that you want to be a bird, but you were born as a person, so it can't be helped. So don't even dream. I didn't mean that. This is your homework, isn't it? Keep it in your satchel, okay? Uh, this is, uh, yeah, sure. 
Anyway, to be honest, that essay is pretty lousy. You better rewrite it before school. <laughs> the essay I stayed up late to write means nothing to him. I... Maruko, you'd better give up on getting a Java Finch. No way. You can wait until you get into junior high to get one, okay? I can't wait, sis. I want to play with a Java Finch right now. I want to take care of it, and I want to take it outside. Maruko shouts her wish to the skies very loudly on the way to school. Hey, guys, did you know I got a Java Finch chick three days ago? What? And you know, she's awfully cute and sweet. I enjoy feeding it, and it makes me very happy. Come on, how did you make your parents buy it for you? Did you whine for hours? Uh -huh. The girl who has no other means. No, I'm the only child, and I told them I had no friends living close to me, so I felt kind of lonely. Then my mom bought me a Java Finch. Oh, I see. All right. I'm home. Hey, listen, Mom. I feel so lonely. Huh? What's happened? I feel lonely, so get me a Java Finch. You sound so creepy, you know that? Dad, I want one favor in my life. Buy me a bird. Nah, drop it, okay? If you get me a Java Finch, I'll look after you when you get old and useless. Yeah? <laughs> That's just a... Or maybe I should just go and tell everyone about your secret savings, which you've hidden in the encyclopedia. Uh, how did you know that? I saw it one day. It was a rare occasion when I happened to feel like studying and opened the encyclopedia. I mean, I was so surprised. Uh, 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 silly girl, I didn't know you were such a wicked child. Then you blackmailed your father for a bird. Oh, come on. You know you're guilty. Don't blame me, okay? Be quiet. My guilt is a different story. I'd like to hear his explanation about how different it is. Uh, I want it, I want it! I promise to be a good girl if I get one! <laughs> Father knows that she's made promises to be a good girl many times, but she's gone back on her word. Fine, I'll just be a bad girl! And he also knows she won't turn into a bad girl. Where's Maruka? Oh, she's just taking a bath. It looks like she wants to have a java finch badly. I know, she's quite persistent this time. For our spineless Maruko, anyway. Well, you know, she's only ever persistent when she wants something. <laughs> it isn't a laughing matter. She's your child. You know, she may develop a sense of responsibility. Should we buy her one? Oh, right! I heard what you guys just said. Uh, oh, Maruko! Now, before you guys change your mind, just repeat the words into this cassette recorder for me so I have it all down. Maruko. Uh, I'm so happy. I'm very, very happy. In return, you must look after it yourself. <laughs> On Sunday. Ah, it's finally all done. How does it look? It's a fine birdcage, right? You bet it is. Dad, you're good at this. So, are you impressed? Right, let's go to the bird shop. Uh, wait a minute. Mom, Mom, we're going out now. Is there anything you want us to buy on our way back? For example, cake or something sweet? No, nothing. Are you sure no cake? <sighs> My goodness. Amazing, there's so many different birds. Oh, society finches. They're close, and they're so tiny. Hi there. May I help you today, sir? Ah, yes, you can, sir. Will you show us the Java Finch chicks? I'm so sorry, but we're all out of Java Finch chicks at the moment. They've been very popular. What? You don't have any. Oh, well, when will you have some, then? They'll be back in stock in three days. Okay, it's just three days. We'll come back. I'm very sorry. No way! I want to get my birds today! Hey, don't be unreasonable, Maruko. I don't care if it's not a Java Finch. I'll be fine with any other bird. I can take a society finch. You can't wait? Look, it's only three days. Look, I want it when I want it, okay? And now I want a society finch. Fine, don't blame me if you regret this later. So, sir, I'll have a pair of society finches. Of course, I'll prepare them for you, and please take good care of them, young lady. I'm home. Look, Mom, I got a pair of society Oh, they're not Java finches? I'll look after my society finches. They're so cute. Indeed, they're very cute. Hey, maybe I should take them out of the cage and put them on my shoulder for a while. Uh, no, you can't. Society finches aren't raised to perch on a hand, so they won't. It's all right, sis. Let's just try it. 
Uh, stop it! Don't do it, Maruko! <laughs> uh. Oh, no. They flew to the top of the bookshelf. I told you, didn't I? These birds aren't trained, okay? <sighs> I'm done with today's training. I'll get them out of the cage again tomorrow. If I train them every day, they'll get used to perching. Oh, my! Maruko is already up and all dressed. That's different. I'm going to feed and give water to my birds. I have to get up early. Well, I'm certainly glad that I bought her the birds. Yes. I hope she grows up to be responsible in this way. If Maruko becomes responsible, then buying birds will be a bargain. But things are never so easy. Listen, everyone, my parents bought a pair of birds for me, and they're so cute! Really? I want to see them. Can I, please? I'll show you. Would you like to come to my house today? Mm -hmm. I'll come today. Oh, I'm excited to see them. Uh, I can hardly wait for school to be over. I want to see my birdies. Bye-bye. Oh, I am home. Mom, where are birdies? How are they? <sighs> my lovely little birdies. Now let's go do today's training of perching on my hand. I'm letting you out of the cage. Okay, here, you're out of the cage. Both of you hop on my shoulders and stay there. Ready? I'll let you go now. Uh, uh, you shouldn't fly away from me, birdies! Uh, that window there is open! Uh, don't go that way, little birdies! Uh, uh, uh. Maruko's dreams and hopes, they all flew away. She could have obtained a java finch if she'd only waited for three days. Well, that's the story of how she let her society finches escape on the second day. Mara-chan, I'm here to see your birdies. Uh -uh. To add insult to injury, Maruko is going to have to explain her silly story to her best friend in front of a big empty birdcage of how her birds escaped. Let me explain. They were here only a moment ago. But you see, I... 